everyone, John here from rchelicopterfun.com. Just doing a quick video today on uh, how to hook up a lithium LiPo battery for charging. Just a simple little quick uh, overview of it. I'm using the iCharger 306B in this demonstration. Uh, obviously, if you've got a different charger, the menu layout is going to be slightly different, but uh, the same basic um, fields are on most uh, computerized chargers. Uh, if you've got the iCharger 1 series, 2 series, and 3 series, the menu selection is identical on all of them, so this would apply directly to every one of those. If you've got the iCharger 4 series, the 406 and the 410, it's different. It's actually easier because they've got the nice, you know, display on there. It's a little more intuitive. But anyways, again, this is just going over how you hook the battery up, how you make your selections, that type of thing. Uh, so the first thing we have to do is select lithium battery type. Right now we're on PB battery type. We don't want that. NICAD, nickel metal hydride, lithium battery. Okay, so we hit enter to select that. So here we've got LiPo, balance charge, auto, that's auto cell count, meaning when we plug this in, uh, when we plug the balance lead into the uh, charger or the, or the balance board in this case, this is actually a para board, parallel charging board, it will automatically read all the cells and select the right charging voltage, which is pretty, pretty handy. Um, and then over here is our actual charge current. So first thing we got to do is look at our battery here. So this is a 5300 milliamp hour battery. Um, it says the maximum charge rate that we could go is up to 5C. I never charge uh, LiPos at the maximum. That's the maximum safe charge rate. That doesn't mean it's the best for the overall lifespan of the battery. So whenever I can, I'll go 1C or even, even a little lower sometimes, but 1C is, is very safe. If I'm in a hurry, I'll go to 2C. But 1C would be, mean one times your capacity, and in this case, that would be 500 or 5,300 milliamps. Chargers are usually set in amps, so it would be 5.3 amps. So we'll just dial up our charge current from 4 amps that uh, already was on here. Oops. We have to go through all this. Um, with the LiPo flashing, this is where you could change it to a LiFi chemistry. It's over a LiPo, but we're doing a LiPo, of course. And we're down to our charge current. We're going to increase that to 5.3. There we go. Enter to select. And um, we'll just plug this in. I always like plugging the main power plug in first. If you don't have a para board like this, you may just have a, a single plug harness that comes out of the charger. That's fine. And you would plug your um, balance lead directly in into the charger's balance port. Okay. So that's the other way you would do it if you don't if you don't have a board like this. But we've got the board, so we'll use that. So we'll plug the balancing plug back in there from the board. So we plug the power plug in first. You usually can hear a little spark. It's just the caps charging up in the uh, in the charger when you plug it in. And you'll see as soon as I plug this um, uh, this plug in, the balance plug into the balance port here. Okay, see it automatically shows now it's a 6S pack, which it is, and it shows the pack, the nominal pack voltage. So at this point, we're ready to start charging. Just maybe go over everything again. Yep, LiPo, good. Balance charging it, yep. 5.3 amps, yep. And we've got the right uh, voltage and cell selection, or number of cells. So we hold in the start button. It's doing a quick check of the battery. Uh, make sure nothing's under voltage or hooked up wrong. And then it starts ramping the current up. And as you see, it's already ramped up the charge current to 5.3 amps. Um, it's showing us what uh, program it's in, in this case a balance charge program. This is showing how many milliamps are being pumped into the battery so far. This, this number will count up. If this battery was, say, 80% discharged, um, right now it's at a storage state, so it would put in roughly half of the capacity of the battery. Um, so around 25, 2600 uh, milliamps. Um, by the time it's charged. But anyways, you can see we're already up to 60, 63 milliamps it's plugged into there, and then it shows the time. 
And if you actually wanted to see each cell voltage individually, you'd hit this INC button. And there it's showing cells 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And as you can see, they're all in very close balance proximity right now. Cell 1's at 3.88, and the rest are at 3.89. So there's only a 10 millivolt uh, difference between the cells. Nice healthy pack charging up, um, charging up here. Because this was at a storage state, um, at a 1C rate, it'll probably be charged up in about a half an hour or so. And that's as easy as it is. Um, very simple, but uh, I just thought that might uh, clear up a few things. I've been getting a few questions on actually how to hook up the battery to the charger. And uh, yeah, you do need to plug both the main power lead in and the balance lead. All the current is coming into the battery through the main plug. The balance is just it's applying loads, various loads at different rates to the different cells as they, if they get, um, if they get too high in voltage, a separation from the other ones. Um, so hopefully that uh, helped everyone out and uh, makes a little bit more sense for everyone. Uh, thanks for watching.